hanging out with us today. I'd like to thank all of our new subscribers. We really appreciate the love and support. If you're new here, we are so glad to have you. My name is Deborah, and please consider subscribing to our channel if you like and find the content helpful. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this fabulous organic balloon garland backdrop that will elevate any event decor. It's easier than you think, so grab your balloons and let's get started. For the backdrop, I am going to use my 7x7 Silver Shimmer Sequin Backdrop that I purchased from ubackdrop.com. But for the project, the wall will be a 6x7. And the things I love about this backdrop is that it is super easy to assemble and there's no right or wrong way assembling it. The panels have these connectors on all four sides of them. Let me show you how easy it is to assemble them. I am going to put my panel face down on the table and then I am going to get my next panel and align them together with the hole and peg and just snap them together in place. It is just that easy guys. And guys, please forgive my voice. I am still feeling under the weather, but I thank God I am not feeling like I were days ago. guys when you first get these panels they are hard to snap together just take a screwdriver and place it in the hole and wiggle it around a couple of times to break the panels in a little Now let's hang the sequin panels and finish assembling them. First start by attaching the command hooks or adhesive hooks evenly spread it along the top of your wall. Make sure they are scrutty enough to hold the weight of the wall. Now that the hooks are properly secured to the wall, simply hang each panel onto the hooks, starting from one side and working your way across. Use a level to assure the panels are scraped and evenly spaced it for a polished look. Tip guys, whatever the height and width of your wall, multiply it by that and that's how many panels you will need. After assembling and hanging all the panels, step back and take a look at the arrangement. Make any necessary adjustments to assure the panels are level and aligned perfectly. Feel free to rearrange them until you are satisfied with the overall look. 
I also tied tightly these 260Q balloons onto the hooks to attach the top balloon garland. Make sure to put down painter's tape before applying these hooks to protect your walls. This is a closer look at how each panel is hung. Now it is time to start inflating balloons and creating clusters to build the garland. Materials needed are a balloon pump. I highly recommend using an electrical pump. It will save you lots of time and energy. Make sure you have enough balloons to cover the desired length of your backdrop. You can choose a color scheme that matches your event theme. I will be color blocking. All that is is using one solid color in each of your clusters. Colors I am using are Rose Pink by Quellatech in 11 inches, 18 inches, and 5 inches. Fashion Red by Sempertech in 11 inches, 18 inches, and 5 inches. And Reflex Silver also by Sempertech in 11 inches, 18 inches, and five inches. I will be using 260Q balloons to show you guys two methods to connect your garland. I will begin by inflating five 11 inch balloons in different sizes and one 18 inch balloon, creating a cluster of six balloons. I will use these clusters to build the base of the balloon garland. See the way the balloons have these cony shapes? Take and press down on them and slowly release the air to get that nice round shape. I am going to lay one neck over the other and pull tight against each other. Wrap to the other side twice and then tie a knot, creating a duplet. I will continue the process creating another duplet. I will bring the two duplets together, taking one balloon from each duplet, twisting them together, creating a quad of four balloons. Now I will inflate the 18 inch and 11 inch balloon, pressing down on them, slowly releasing the air to get that nice round shape. Bring the duplet and quad together, taking one balloon from each one and twist them together, creating a cluster of six balloons. I will then inflate two 11 inch balloons, slowly releasing the air to get that nice round shape. 
lay one neck over the other and pull tight against each other. Wrap around twice and then tie a knot, creating a duplet. I will continue the process with the other two 11 inch balloons. I will bring the two duplets together, taking one balloon from each one and twist them together, creating a quad of four balloons. I will use these quads to add to the base of the balloon garland to give us volume and dimension. Now I will inflate two five inch balloons, slowly releasing the air to get that nice round shape. Lay one neck over the other and pull tight against each other. Wrap a round twice and then tie a knot. I will continue this process with the other two five inch balloons. I will bring the two duplets together, taking one balloon from each and twist them together, creating a mini quad of four balloons. I will also add these mini cords to the base of the balloon garland to fill in gaps and to give the garland a more uniform appearance. I will continue the process with all the other balloons, creating medium clusters of six balloons, small cords of four balloons, and mini cords of four balloons until I have created enough to build the garland. Now that all the clusters are created, let's build our garland using the 260 method. I am just pushing all the air out of the 260 cube balloons to allow me to stretch the balloons even more and tie them together into a knot. I tied one end of the 260 into a knot around the middle of the cluster. I then place a new cluster on top of the existing cluster, press down on it, wrap the 260 around it in a figure eight pattern and pull tight. Again, take a new cluster and place it on top of the existing cluster, press down on it, wrap the 260 around it in a figure eight pattern and pull tight and just continue on with the process until you have reached your desired length and then tie the 260 Q onto one of the necks of the balloons in the cluster. Now let's hang the garland. I placed the garland where I wanted it, pulled the 260 Q, wrapped it around a couple of balloons in the cluster in a figure eight pattern, and I continue securing the garland to the backdrop. Let's build the second garland using the neck to neck method, my favorite. You take two clusters and find a scratchy neck in the both of them and just tie them together and just continue with the process until you have reached your desired length. The reason why this is my favorite method, you save on materials and it makes the garland nice and scruddy.
let secure the side garland. I first took a scratchy neck in the cluster and tied it to a scratchy neck in the top cluster. Using the H method, I looped a rubber band around one of the smallest back balloons in the top side cluster. I then did the exact same thing at the bottom of the garland, securing the side garland to the backdrop. If you have not seen my video on how to use the H method, it will be linked in the right hand corner of this video. Here is where I added a pink cluster to the bottom of the garland and wrapped a rubber band around one of the smallest back balloons in the cluster. Once your garland is securely in place, step back and make any necessary adjustments to the balloons and the overall shape. Now let's add the small quads to make the garland fuller. Keep adding small quads until you achieve your desired fullness. Don't worry about the perfection, slightly irregular shape will add to the charm of your garland. By the way guys, I am using the neck to neck method where I am taking a scratchy neck in the small quads and tying it to a scratchy neck in the clusters. I wanted to add some flair to the bottom of the garland, so I wrapped a small quad of pink and a small quad of silver to the bottom of the garland. I used rubber bands to add the mini quads to the garland to fill in gaps and to bring the balloon garland to life. I used two clear hooks to hang this love neon sign to the backdrop to add something special to the atmosphere. 
And by the way, guys, I used thumbtacks to add the shimmer finger curtains to the side of the backdrop. And there you have it, a stunning balloon garland backdrop that's sure to impress your guests. Thanks for watching and for your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more DIY tutorials and party inspirations. If you have any questions, please let me know. Until next time, you guys stay blessed and we will see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.